Hello. Why am I still... Why am I still riding you? I can't seem to take you off the trainer. Something about you. Not you, really. It's just the effort it would take to take you off and put the other one on. I just don't want to do that, so... I'm stuck with you. There is just nothing better than riding 100 miles and then three days later getting back on the bike. Oh, yeah. My ass is healed. I'm really looking forward to this hour and a half ride on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm working on my set. For the, sorry, I'm, I'm, I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. I'm working on my set for this weekend. <laughs> Which is actually making the time go by very fast, so. I'm just deciding how much Hooba Stank to put on the playlist. I'm thinking half the set would be too much. Space Jam theme song? Uh, yeah. That'll be the other half of the set. Space Jam. Yes! Good morning. I look rough. It's Thursday. Yesterday, I went out for a beautiful run. Nine miles at like eight, 10 pace or something like that. It was fast, it was strong, it was good. My knee on my right side now is kind of feeling a little wonky. I'm assuming from the 100 mile ride and the long run. So I did PT on Monday again. So making sure to keep up with my exercises, keep those glutes strong. Make sure there's, you know, the hip flexors, make sure they're supporting the knee. Anyways, and then it fucking it was raining all night again. What the fuck is going on? But now it's sunny and beautiful, just cleared up. So this morning I was working on my set some more, which honestly, it sounds a lot, it sounds a lot cooler than it is. You know, working on my set, it's like, whoa, a set? This guy performing live, he's working on his set? So cool, but in reality, I'm just in my office DJing alone. It's loud as shit in there and I'm, Hands up to nobody. It's sad is what it is. So I was doing that all morning and now it cleared up, which kind of works perfectly because then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the old hog out with the canyon on the means. And take my bike outside is what I'm trying to say. And maybe do Mandeville Canyon. It's about an hour and a half ride with some climb, with some good climbs. So I think I'm gonna do that. And right now I'm driving to get breakfast. We went to a little concert last night. Shout out Gracie Abrams, great show. Didn't really cop the full eight hours, but that's okay. It's fucking raining again. Good. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I wanted. Here we go, I'm down an arrow and filming at the same time. Imagine me doing this when I first got this bike. So yeah, weather app said it was supposed to be sunny. And then all of a sudden I get a winter storm warning. What the fuck? It's April. The world's going to shit, you know? I was just fucking thinking about how my preferences have totally swapped over what sport I like the most. I don't, I'm not saying I like biking the most, I still like running, but I like biking way more than swimming now. I don't know why. It's like you can only really like two of them. I think that's a rule, two at most. I think that's like an unspoken triathlon law. You cannot enjoy all three sports. It's just pick, pick two, and the other one is just hell. Swimming recently has just been fucking mental torture. So boring, just don't wanna be there. Where is this shit? I could do this all day. I could do this for a hundred miles. Oh gee, wait, I did. A little flex for you guys there. Rain seems like it's stopping. It seems to be dry up here. Oh my God, I'm filming one arm and arrow. Look at this shit. Look at beautiful, look at this. Unreal, gorgeous. It does kind of suck that the roads are wet now because the best part of this ride is bombing the downhill. I can't really do that now because I don't want to slip and fall. Okay, let me put my phone back now. Good chatting with you. Thanks for keeping me entertained for the last little bit of this climb. Good. Not good. This is awesome. It's hailing. Good. I can't feel my hands. Awesome. <laughs> this, is, this is so fun. I'm so happy I came out for this ride. What was this talking about? About bike, like biking over swimming? No. I take it all back. Could not suck more ass right now. What the fuck do I do? All right, I'm sitting in a box in New York City, vlogging box. Hold on, people are looking. Yeah, so the ride yesterday, I never reflected on it. That was one of the most miserable experiences of my life. I know it didn't really seem that bad, but it was the one of the coldest I've ever been in my life. And I, you know, I was raised in Calgary. I've been cold before, <laughs> trust me, I felt cold. But that was a special type of cold because I was, it hailed on me. Torrential downpour and then I would try to go down the hill 
and the the wind would just it just felt like it was just biting my skin like i couldn't feel my hands my feet were completely soaked couldn't feel them and then all of a sudden i get to the end of san vicente which was like you know 15 or 20 min 20 minutes downhill i had to like tough that out and then all of a sudden it was sunny and beautiful and my hands dried out and i was like ah oh. it was so weird it went from so miserable to fine in 15 minutes but still i couldn't feel i stood in the shower afterwards for two hours like not two hours i didn't take a two hour shower i got shit to do you know what i mean can't be doing that but i did stand in the shower for like 10 minutes <laughs> and my feet i couldn't feel my feet until i got out of the shower so um yeah good afternoon good afternoon i'm out for a run in what's commonly known as the humongous city i believe it's called people refer to it as that and they also refer to it as the enormous township yeah we were out until about 2 a.m last night but the, the time difference is kind of working in my favor right now because i slept in a shit ton um, people are just looking at me looking weird of course yeah i feel actually pretty good been running for about two miles about to hit the west side i'm just gonna go south and uh hopefully maybe meet up with a special guest. I think I already ruined it at the beginning of this or the thumbnail or something, but wow, the swollen city. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing. The big boat. All right, special guest. What's up, boys? Yo, yo. I said no, though. I just asked. You said yes. It's okay. Casey was just giving me Iron Man advice. Cody, how many miles today? All right, seven. Seven? We're going for 14. So, I got to... Which means I gotta turn around. <laughs> Otherwise, right, my bro. wife is gonna be furious. We got a 2 p.m. brunch we gotta make. And you'll be hungry. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah Why are you here? <laughs> Honestly, I got happy you're here. I got Kelsey tickets to Bruce Springsteen at Madison Square Garden for her birthday. This was last September. So we've had this trip on the calendar this for a while. Pure vacation. Yeah. Is that tonight? No, pure vacation. Yeah, tonight. Wow. It's never pure vacation. Why are you standing here from the southeast side? Because it's beautiful. Why don't you stay closer to me? We can get more miles in, Cody. <laughs> How did you get to the west side if you're saying the east side? I just ran. Okay. <laughs> it's the most efficient way to get through this city. You want to turn around? Yeah. All right, folks, just had a great run with Casey. We're at 11 and a half miles right now, hour 40. I feel good. I just feel really thirsty. I need a fucking water ASAP. I'm running fast to try to make it back. We got a brunch. It's actually very, very difficult to speak right now, so. Okay, run finished. Beautiful run down the west side of the gigantic apple. I called it the swollen city earlier. I thought that one was a good one. What do you think about that? It's good. Did 14 miles at about 8.30 pace. And um, I didn't film it, but Casey gave me some interesting advice for Iron Man. I've kind of heard two opposing opinions. Some people think it's all about the bike and other people think it's all about the run. And he was in the latter camp. He was like, it's all about the run. The run can make or break your race way more than the bike can. So he, when he used to do Ironman, he used to kind of like do his bike at like 80% or something. He'd save energy for the run. So he'd feel good throughout the whole thing. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I didn't listen to a single thing you said. Well, that's good because I said it all in Spanish. Uh, no, it's it's boring anyways. Um, hey. I'm sorry, it wasn't boring. I just didn't think you were talking to me. This boring. Should I tell you and then you can tip yeah. me? Is that what it's yes. boring? He was like, I used to like basically save energy on the bike. Like not go 100. He's at four. Um, quattro, if you will. Yeah, exactly. That's what they call that, a, a quattro. So which one is the truth? I guess we'll find out. I also, don't you think that maybe that's just kind of like personal? Yes, I think it is. I'm willing to take all the advice I can get right now, but yeah, it's so, so it's really just advice, gotta be. The advice that you have is every part is important. <laughs> yeah, either the bike, the run, heard, or the swim. What but, I've heard is that it's the swim is really the most important. You know what I've heard? It's all about the transitions. Ooh. That can make or break you. But anyways, now we're gonna go get brunch, and then we're going to a Bruce Springsteen concert, and it's gonna be a good day. Um, and choo choo. And choo choo. Love you. Right here, if I just tap it, that is right here. That's 
you're looking at Las Vegas, Nevada, of course, the one in Nevada. I know that sometimes confuses people. Las Vegas, no, Las Vegas is what it is. Nevada, it's right there. Yep. But check it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Oh my god! <laughs> and I have seven more in my other pocket. <laughs> you are prepared. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, it's, this case. is a really good idea. Sometimes if the CDJs aren't like updated correctly, it'll erase your USBs sometimes. And then I have to do an hour just acapella. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stand up today. I guess. <laughs> just a whole stand up. Set? Yeah, yeah. I didn't really prepare for this, EDC, but uh... the flight in was kind of crazy. Uh... Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> yeah. We're here at the Win in Las Vegas. For my, for my second DJ set of all time. <laughs> Who's your second DJ set ever? Well, I mean, the first was Winston House. Yeah, but you no, know, no, I used to think afterwards. I played it alone in my house. Like, I played like a bunch of afters <laughs> with the boys. <laughs> That's Which incredible. Is, That's good practice. You skipped so many things. I know, I feel bad. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I know, I feel bad. Okay, well, you know. No, I have, I've played tons of parties since then. Tons of parties, I've been putting in a ton of You've work. You've been putting in a ton of work, right? Yeah. So I'm opening for Dylan today at EBC, which is like a beach club. What's and also, I didn't request this. This is full on. Cody got booked. I don't. I don't himself. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, just say for the video. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes, <laughs> yes. I got booked. This was an individual thing. It was a scouting thing, kind of like baseball. What happens yeah. is like you'll play a show. Someone, some big shot guy will be watching in the background, kind of like <laughs> writing down notes where yeah. it's like okay, good friend. I was wondering who that was at Winston House. Yeah, that was standing in the back, cross arms. Yeah, it was just... miss, It was the whoever. Mr. Wynn. Mr. Wynn. He called up Mr. Encore. Yeah. He called Mr. Encore. He's like, you know that new sound I was talking about? <laughs> well, listen to this. <laughs> He's safe now. Welcome. 